Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, another day, another gun control move is occurring. This time, the mayor of New York City, Mayor Adams, is hitting the road with his gun control agenda. Don't believe me? I've got an article that shows you exactly what it is, lays out his entire plan from his own mouth. But per usual, with the leftist gun controllers, you have to look a little deeper than what they're actually saying on the surface because there's always a deeper implication. That's what I'm about to show you. I've got everything linked in the description box below. A lot of sources if you want to read this. But I'm going to show you what he's saying and then align to exactly what he means. And I'm going to, sh I'm going to can't wait to show you. All right. So without much further ado, everything is linked in the description box below. I want to hear from you guys in the comments on what you think if I landed this plane effectively. But check this article out. Eric Adams says he's taking his anti-gun campaign national during Chicago presser. Well, first of all, the irony of failing gun control in New York City, going to Chicago where it's worse and asking for advice is interesting but this came out the 18th so this came out yesterday yeah, check this out mayor eric adams promised friday that he would take his campaign against gun violence national during a press conference with chicago mayor Lori lightfoot in the windy city which has been hit hard by a surge of homicides and shootings which is ironic because there's gun control there and there should be no guns so i don't know how there's more shootings anyway side point but this next piece is the really important quote that I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit it hard, and then we're going to we give you some context. Quote, we need help from Washington, D.C. We need to staff the ATF appropriately. We need to do information sharing. Now, those first three sentences, we're going to hit hard in a second. We need to focus on those illegal gun manufacturers that are producing these guns that are proliferating our cities. Again, weird, because gun control is in those cities. Quote, I'm going to visit all mayors across this country that get it. He's going to all the blue states. He's not looking for different approaches. He's looking for reaffirmation of his existing beliefs. It, it, don't mistake that. All right. Now, this is really important because that entire quote, Washington, D.C., appropriately staffed the ATF and information sharing. On the surface, that sounds all fine and dandy from a leftist perspective, but let's dive deeper. I'm going to show you what they're trying to do and get around. Now, in the ATF, like if you're dealing with the ATF from the state level, you have to join something called the E-Trace program, okay? Here's an article that's called New York, Neighboring States, Announce Agreement to Share Gun Data. This was between Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. This happened in October of last year. We covered it on this channel. But the states have to opt into it. If you're in Georgia, if you're in Alabama, and you don't opt into that, other states don't have the access to share, Does that, if that makes sense, right? So what he's, he's alluding to there is information sharing across the national basis because he's already got the ability to share with all these other gun control states that have opted in. Why is he bitching about information sharing and from Washington, D.C. specifically and tying in the ATF? Because the ATF is the E-Trace e -trace National Database Program. Now, it all goes towards this little amendment that's put into an appropriations bill. Forgive me if I say this wrong because I always struggle with this. It's called the TART Amendment, T-I-A-H-R-T Amendment. It's a provision of the U.S. Department of Justice Appropriations Bill that prohibits the National Tracing Center of the, of the ATF from releasing information, its firearm trace database, to anyone other than law enforcement agency or prosecutor in connection with a criminal investigation so other states can't see it. This precludes gun trace data from being used in academic research of gun use and crime, CDC. Additionally, the law blocks any data legally released from being admissible in civil lawsuits against gun sellers or manufacturers. Does that strike any bells? Manufacturers? Civil lawsuits? Gun sellers? Exactly what they've been pursuing over the last year? When you look at the quote that I just gave you from Adams himself, Washington, D.C., ATF appropriately, and information sharing, does that put it from a different perspective? He's hitting all of these nationally blue cities. He's only talking to mayors. And he's only talking to ones that have guns and crime and gang problems. Gun problems. They really have gang problems. But the whole point here is he's looking for reaffirmation and he's pitching Washington to do information sharing when there's already amendments that prevent it. He's going after the idea that ATF has the ability to not opt in states but manually or mandatory um, attendance into this. This is where this is kind of going, and it's interesting to see Adams come out and do this. And for example, here's what else he said. Adams later added that he would be going to travel through the country and see what others are doing when it comes to tackling gang and gun violence, which is ironic that his first step is, is uh, the Windy City, Chicago, where they have unmitigated disaster with guns because guns don't exist there, but somehow there's record murders. I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. And this last piece... 
There were 488 murders. This is what spurred him. In the five boroughs in 2021, up 53% from the 319 reported in 2019 before the pandemic struck. However, that's just a fraction of the 800 plus murders reported in Chicago in 2021. So he's going to ask advice from a place that has almost twice as many, both of which are gun control zones, both of which are failing miserably, and he's sitting here pitching Washington, D.C. to do more information sharing and get more people in the ATF to do said information sharing. That's what I've got for you guys. It's a little bit deeper than the high-level comment that he made, but when you put all this together and all this in context, I'm not exactly sure I like the mayor of New York City going nationwide and bringing this as a main platform of his visit to all these cities. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will see you tomorrow morning at the bullet points. Until then, have a great night.